us in the darkness We trust in the light show to take us home Afraid of the sirens All looking for faces that we might know And we're stronger than we think we are Cause nothing that we're made of is built from glass And we'll push it till our bodies break Cause love will always heal our broken bodies It's not paradise Cause if you look close enough you'll see No. My eyes would fill with tears as the sky turned gray. Daddy said he was coming, but never showed. So I sit and watch the sky rain, and soon my very eyes did too. Permanently plagued with pain, my heart grew solid with ice. I had to become a man, grow up a little too fast, all because I had to bury my father in the past. My eyes would fill with tears as a great school day was ruined by thunder and swollen clouds. A great day to be stoned. I couldn't feel the difference between the tears, the rain, or the gravel pelting my skin. Perhaps if I had friends who cared. Perhaps if I wasn't forced to play a character of opposing dynamics, I would be able to hear the little boy in my head drowning in tears. Sadly, I let him drown. My eyes would fill with tears as I watched broken promises slide down the window glass. Used me, loved me, equalized. For all I was told was lies. The way they loved and cared and promised to be there. And in the end forsaken my soul for the love of another. Was my love not good enough or did I drown you out too? Was I worse than the reflection I saw? A world so hateful, some would rather die than be who they are. I was that some. My eyes used to rain at the thought of my past. I never knew my heart could rain with such great pain. My past broke me, but I still remained the same, or so I thought. My heart has changed. It's cold, frozen hard and alone my eyes no longer rain they snow ba sing say I found comfort behind these walls. I found a hole where I could see. See the lies trying to creep its way in, but I never let them convince me. They were meant to protect me, separate the fragile from the fake. A mask I forced myself to create to save the little one the ache. I let my walls down for refugees who needed to learn to hope again. A gentleness that was deserved to touch their souls before the end. But like a Trojan horse, love found its way behind them. I tried reinforcing more walls, conceal I had to hide them. My walls have fallen today. I have fallen in love, they say. My walls have fallen today, like the great city of Ba Sing Se. I like his eyes, the way he bites his lips, the way he dances and snaps, moving his hips. I like his hair dark, black, and smooth. It matches his beard and <laughs> maybe his pubes. I'm crushing hard on someone new. I haven't done it in a while. It feels really weird, too. Like, why do I care if you're up with me? I accept it and you stay up and agree. But like every boy, there's a catch. 
you're straight and our sexualities don't match. <laughs> this could go horribly wrong again for me, or maybe become something with hopes to be free. I'm scared to love again, that's for sure. But I'm also willing to see what my heart can endure. Maybe you'll break me like Rabbit and Carter did, or use me the way New Year's did as a kid. My fears are logical. I have reasons. Maybe I'm rebounding and this love is like the seasons. But what if you liked me too and I'm holding back? Are you prepared to fight my darkness back? <laughs> Someone else is lingering in my heart. I really love him, but it's ripping me apart. Maybe it's you or Rabbit trusting the man above to guide me back to him <laughs> or to you, this new love. What are the sounds of time? Usually, people would say the ticking of a clock. Or watch, but if I'm sitting in an empty room, what do you hear then? It sounds like the beating of a heart against my rib cage, counting every second I'm still breathing. It sounds like laughter for every minute I spent enjoying life with the people I love. It sounds like sirens rushing to beat the countdown of a dying life at stake. Rushing against time so that someone else's clock could continue ticking. It sounds like the cries of a newborn child whose race against time has just begun. Whose clock has just begun to tick tock. It sounds like weeps and moans of a soul who has been lost in the horrors of this world. It sounds like the bells of the chapel where two people have joined their souls together forever, where their clocks now tick together. It sounds like the rushing and the rolling of the waves crashing against the sand, like the wind muffling my ears so that I can't hear the beauty of the bird's song, or the last howl at the moon. It sounds like my painful cries over someone who had hurt me for a long time. It sounds like the bustling of trees in the bright sun of day. It sounds like my soul breaking from the memories I can't forget. You asked and questioned and pondered. What does time sound like? to me, and my answer is memories. Time sounds like memories, memories you've lived and survived. It's the way you truly know time has passed, until all the memories stop being made, and your clock has finally stopped. The latter, I got a taste of love that stained my tongue. It made me feel so brave, expressive, and young. But no one told me how hard it would be to remove the stain of the one who once loved me. This bittersweet taste of love is too familiar. Like eating new food that's no longer peculiar. How am I to feel trapped in this endless duality? Lonely, happy with a sprinkle of sexuality. <laughs> There's so many questions I ask but no reply. 
Howling at the moon, crying at the night sky. Is this what it means to find oneself? To have all your favorite books thrown off the shelf? Is this what it's like to truly feel alone? No one to hold, call your own, to stop the aching of your soul. Love is not determined by the quantity, but the quality. So why do we treat it with sincere impartiality? As if one heart isn't as strong as three. As if an empire didn't need one king to help them see. What if the world was coming to an end? Would you have died with words left unsaid? Would you be satisfied, proud of the person you've become? Or would you want to change and alter the outcome? How do you achieve your dreams without going insane? How do I find all the answers to the questions that remain? Is it bad that I want to run? Run until my lungs go numb. Until I look back to see my past, my life has already caught up to me. So what is the point of love and pain? Avoid the latter until the former remains. There were only one set of footprints in the sand. Now they are two. I smile, holding his hand. <coughs> and there it is. My life has now become the latter. <laughs> Hugs. They come really tight and snug. Sometimes attached to someone who isn't smug. Someone who isn't afraid to run. They stay and embrace. Hold you until the blood rushes to your face. It's the person that makes the hug. I'm okay. I'm fine. Then, as the arms stretch out, your soul begins to unwind and there you are with your walls down. Their arms are your new town. In their arms you have found their heartbeat relaxing sound. Think no longer on the ground, but your soul is. It's grounded. Holding on to something, feeling the thorns sink into your skin. Your roses are beautiful. You won't let the wind take it all. So you hold on tight. You will win the fight. If you just hug, it'll keep them grounded, right? If you show them how much you've sacrificed, how many bruises you've iced just to protect them from themselves, how many books you've read off the shelves trying to find a cure to the pain that's darkly pure, which you can no longer endure, it's not them. It's yours, your hugs, the ones I continue to long for. I, I never liked hugs, not because of how they made me feel, but because your hugs are addictive, make me want to be vindictive, lie to you just for comfort. Hugs, I never liked them. Not because it triggers my PTSD of when three men held me, forced me. When I'm in your arms, I never want the feeling to end. I want to be more than friends. I never liked hugs. I don't want to like your hugs because hugs have one rule. They always end with letting you go. So come on, let it go. Oh, just let it be. Why don't you be you? And I'll be me. Everything is
the sun and the moon. We were never meant to be together. It just never worked out well for us. You rather hide and conceal our love in the dark and expect it to be perfect. We both expected it to be. We thought that we could be each other's light, each other's sun, and we could keep our light secret. <laughs> but the funny thing about light is that it travels faster than the speed of sound. So before you could ever admit your true feelings for me, the sound of false words had already slipped from your mouth, causing me pain. They say the moon reflects the sun's light, which is why it can only shine at night in the dark. Does your love come in the shape of the moon? Whole and not shattered? Dented but not bruised? No. It comes in different phases. Sometimes I see the real you and other times you're just not even there. We were never meant to be together. So I sit and I watch the moon at night and I remember the nights I laid on your chest. The times you held me, the times we fought and I realize I miss it. I miss you. But I can't go back, I can't reverse the day, I can't see what you see, I can't. Because I'm the sun and you're the moon. Piece of me is in you and as much as I want it back, without it you'd be nothing. And that's the sacrifice I made when I fell in love with you. We were never meant to be together. I shot for the moon, expecting to land in your love, but instead I'm sitting amongst the stars and I'm the worst star of them all. You're starting to hate me and I can tell. But before you know it, that hate will be nothing. I'll be nothing because all stars die out. What will the moon be then? Just a stone, a rock in space? We were never meant to be together. But somehow, we're connected and can't let each other go. Is this true love? I don't want to be the sun. And I don't want you to be the moon. Because everything goes wrong when we pretend to be people we aren't when we hide our true feelings. I want you to be you and I'll be me. And maybe then, together, we can watch the sunset <laughs> and the moon rise. And maybe then, we'll learn to heal, accept ourselves, and no longer use our pain as a disguise. Cause it's not paradise but if you look close enough, you'll see The sunrise in our eyes Watch the ocean set you free